We saw in section 1.6 that the rate of change of density at a point in space is equal to the negative of the divergence of the mass flux. The nice thing about fluid mechanics is that you can give this a very visual meaning. For example, if we heat up fluid at a point in space, its density drops, i.e. d rho dt is negative, and the fluid diverges away from that point. So let's draw the streamlines heating up that point in space. The streamlines look something like this, diverging away from that point in space. And if this happens, streamlines are created at this point. And you can see why the operator del dot, a vector field, is called the divergence of that vector field. And let's repeat the experiment in a uniform flow moving from left to right, let's say at speed v. We're going to heat up this point of space. Locally, we will see streamlines diverging away from that point in space, as we did for the case without uniform flow. That's just locally, of course, because far away the fluid is moving in a uniform direction, left to right. That means that we get, on the left, a stagnation point, where the flow moves left to right on the left, and right to left on the right. At the stagnation point itself, there is no divergence. You'll notice that fluid is moving in along two directions and moving out along two other directions. But around the point that we're heating, there is net divergence. So we see the flow streamlines look something like this. And it's worth drawing a few more streamlines. There are the ones that go all the way around the outside of the stagnation streamlines. That is to say, the streamlines that go through the stagnation point. And there are streamlines inside this region, which would look something like this. But the main point I want to make here is that around the point that we're heating, here, there is divergence of the streamlines, but around the stagnation point there is no divergence, because fluid flowing in is matched by the fluid flowing out.